Arsenal or Manchester City? The Premier League is down to two teams in this title race. Liverpool have fallen off a cliff and they are out. Arsenal won the North London derby, unfortunately. And Manchester City, after the pressure of Arsenal winning, went out, got a clean sheet and got three points at a relegation candidate side, Nottingham Forest. Who will win the Premier League? Three games left for Arsenal. Four games left for Manchester City. Four and three cup finals. Go down, drop a like on the video, and let's get into this. Now, of course, both teams won at the weekend. Manchester City have still got an FA Cup final to play, and they've got some tough games in there, as well as Arsenal have got some tough games. So you've got to hear me out on this. I think the Premier League genuinely could come down to goal difference. Now, I've got two different opinions here, so you've got to hear me out, like I said. The first one, the Premier League could come down to goal difference, which would mean Manchester City have to drop points. They have to get a draw in one of their last four games in the Premier League. Now, we know when it comes to winning titles, when it comes to that last 10 Premier League games, Manchester City are the best team in the last 10 years at doing this. They're on to win six at the last seven league titles. Guardiola could do a double off of last year's treble. Arguably the greatest manager the Premier League has ever seen. If it goes down to goal difference, Arsenal win the league. I think, I've got, like I said, two opinions here. I think Manchester City drop points in one of the next four games. And I'm going to tell you exactly which game that's going to be. So they've got Wolves at home on Saturday, which is a very unpredictable Wolves side who have already beaten Manchester City this season and are very unpredictable when it comes to playing the big teams. They've beaten Tottenham home and away. They, they, they gave Arsenal a very good game. They've beaten Manchester City. They've, they've played well against Chelsea. They've narrowly lost on the first game of the season to Man United, and they play well against Liverpool. I do think, though, Manchester City get three points. Their next game is Fulham away. Midday kickoff. 12.30 kickoff, sorry, against Fulham. Very unpredictable side again. One week, Fulham can beat Man, uh, can beat Tottenham 3-0. The next week, they can get stuffed. I do think Manchester City get the win again. However, Tottenham away, 14th of May, Eight o'clock under the lights is where Tottenham, my team, have to win that game in order to stay in with a fight for playing Champions League football next season. Aston Villa have still got to play Liverpool, have still got to play a home and away Conference League game in between a in between a Brighton away performance, as well as playing Crystal Palace away, who are flying right now. So Tottenham have to beat Manchester City. Manchester City have never won a Premier League game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. They have lost every single game. Now, of course, they did beat us in the FA Cup. And right now, we are conceding goals galore. But Tottenham have to rise. Our next three games are massive. And I honestly believe Tottenham get something out of Manchester City. I hope I'm wrong because, of course, as a Tottenham fan, I don't want Arsenal to win the league. If you look at Arsenal right now, they win their last three games. I would be lying. I would be capping if I didn't say it. They beat Everton because Everton are now staying up, which is last game of the season. Bournemouth is probably going to be their hardest game of the next three because Bournemouth are flying right now. They are in very, very, very good form. They've just beaten Wolves and Brighton. Back-to-back -back games, clean sheets, Drawing with Manchester United, beating Crystal Palace, which is our in informed side, beating Everton, beating Luton, beating Burnley. You know, and Manchester City narrowly won there. Bournemouth are a very, very good side. Now, they're not exactly playing for anything. I guess they're playing, I guess you could say, for a dark outside chance of getting European football. But they're mainly playing to get their highest points tally in Premier League history. However, Arsenal get the job done against Bournemouth. Arsenal also get the job done against Everton. But 
Man United are the party poopers. And we've seen that already this season with Liverpool. And they are notorious for standing up in the big games. Like, they are notorious for doing that. I still think Arsenal get the job done. I think Arsenal win their three remaining games, which would mean if this scenario were to play out, Arsenal would win the league on goal difference. The other side of the coin, Man City win their remaining games, Arsenal slip up at Manchester United. These are the two potential outcomes I can see. But it pains me, and I hate that I'm saying this, I generally think Man City are going to slip up somewhere. If they don't, Guardiola goes down as, in my eyes, the greatest manager of all time. He would have won his fourth Premier League title, or fifth maybe. I'm not too sure. I think it's fifth. Countless La Ligas, three Champions Leagues. Genuinely, he would cement his legacy among the greatest of all time. But... There is horrendous pressure on Manchester City. Let me explain to you why. Arsenal will play first against Bournemouth Saturday. If Arsenal win, huge pressure on Manchester City to then go 5.30 and beat Wolves. Arsenal the following week play Manchester United. Yep, 4.30 Sunday. So Man City have got to play first and they have got to beat Fulham which is a tough place to go. I've just got this horrendous feeling Arsenal are going to do it. But like I said, I've got two opinions on this. It wouldn't surprise me if Man City won the league. There's been a lot of stick towards the officials from Tottenham fans. Both teams, it doesn't matter how you win by hook or crook. The most important thing right now is about winning football matches. Arsenal were not at their best and yet they still put three goals past Spurs. Manchester City were not at their best, yet they got a clean sheet and won against Nottingham Forest, who are fighting for their lives. And they lost Edison. What I'm trying to say is right now, the most important thing about a title race when you're in the last five to ten games is the result. And Arsenal are an absolutely electric form, as well as Manchester City are on their best unbeaten run in their club's history, to my knowledge. Now, the fact that Manchester City have got to play Spurs, I I just have this feeling we're either gonna we're gonna we're, we're, I reckon we're gonna draw that game, which would mean Manchester City have got to make up a seven goal different swing in their remaining four games, which are Wolves, Brighton. And the West Ham. Now, the way West Ham are playing, they could quite easily score five goals there. The way Wolves are playing, due to how inconsistent they are, they could quite easily score five goals there. But Arsenal at the moment are playing the best football for me. Collectively, they look the best as a unit. They've got the best defence. They've got the best goal difference. They've got the best attack. You know, we could we could sit where Arsenal win 12 of their last remaining 14 games and still not win a title. Like, that is absolutely obscene. It's insane how close this title race is. You know, we saw a few years ago where Liverpool won the league. I lost the league, sorry, by one point. We could see something similar this year. You know, Liverpool are out of the title race. For them, it's about getting into the summer, regrouping. You still achieve Champions League football. You're going to finish third. Aston Villa, for them, it's about getting into the summer and trying to win the Conference League for the remainder of the season. But for the top two, like we, we could see an error now where we, we've had the Klopp versus Pep. We could now see an error where it's Pep versus Arteta. It's the apprentice versus the master. It's the newcomer versus the present. It's the future against the present, sorry. I, I'm looking at it right now. I, I, I've just, I have this feeling Arsenal are going to win the league, but I also can vision Manchester City winning it. It's, it's going to be fascinating and mouth-watering, mouth-watering, sorry, throughout the remainder of the season. Games come in thick and fast, you know. Arsenal play uh, 12.30 Saturday, potentially. You know, this is how fine margin it is. 
if Arsenal were to drop points at home, which we have seen do in the past, which they did against Southampton and West Ham last year, that opens the door up for Manchester City to go above them and have a game in hand. At this point last year, the Premier League title had been won by Manchester City with three games remaining at this point. Now we're at a point where we could go down with 37 games played, one game remaining to be Premier League champions. Arsenal or Manchester City? Pep or Arteta? Foden or Saka? Like, there's so much riding on this. It's absolutely unreal. And I think Bournemouth is going to be Arsenal's hardest game. And I think if Manchester City get past Wolves, they've got a double game week. For them, it's all about beating Spurs. We know how good they are in the remainder of the last 10 games, but they have not won at our ground. Yes, they're playing us in a position at a time where it's probably not the best time. It's probably the best time to play us because we are leaking goals. We've conceded seven in our last two Premier League games, four against Newcastle, three against Arsenal. We are absolutely horrendous from set pieces. We don't appear to have a plan B, but it's it's absolutely crucial that Tottenham win that game as well. Otherwise, you can kiss goodbye top four. And if Man United win their next Premier League game, you know, they will be three points behind us. So it, it, it's huge. Tottenham have got massive games coming up with Chelsea, Liverpool and City still to play. You know, top four for us is very, very important. And if we get top four in our first year under Angie, it's fantastic. But that even, if we if, if Tottenham go and beat Chelsea Thursday night, it almost adds, it almost adds to the pressure of that Manchester City game. Because if, if if Tottenham beat Chelsea and get a result against Liverpool, we could be in three points of touching distance of Aston Villa, which then mounts the game to a six-pointer for both City and Spurs because Tottenham could close the gap potentially to Aston Villa and Manchester City are in a title race. So, you know, and, and so far, you know, in the Premier League, in the first game that Tottenham played City, it ended 3-3. So, there's plenty of logic and plenty of, of reasoning and, and sense to say that this game could be a draw. It's what Tottenham do. We've seen it before where Tottenham have gone and beaten Manchester City and then lost to Burnley. And that opens up the door for Arsenal. So, look, th th there's a lot of football to still be played, but it's now four cup finals for Man City and three cup finals for Arsenal. Both teams have got to focus on themselves. You know, you can look at Arsenal. Arsenal can look at City and City can look at Arsenal as much as you want. But if you're not doing your job to the best of your ability, you could lose the title without even Man City playing a game and, vi and vice versa. But let me know down below, who's winning the title? Is it Arsenal or is it City? I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.